Touchdown in New York, got a big dinner tonight with the family, with the team, so. Shake a little bit of dust off, look a little good. Yeah, I'm I actually think I'm coming down a little cold, so I'm keeping my hoodie on as long as I can, like, so I can sweat. Yeah. It's 5.30, it's supposed to be at the event at 7. I get a haircut, do a couple interviews too. <laughs> Figure out how that timing works. Got a good burn, I'm gonna do a couple other things. There's some chest over here, some curls. Some land makers. Basically works. Core, back, arms, legs, all that. Got it done over here? I think I've always been a performer, even before I knew that. <laughs> like I like I, I would rap every song that came on the radio. I would sing every song on the radio. I would uh, dance and act a fool for my family at all the family events. The interesting thing about it is that it still feels as though, you know, it was yesterday. <laughs> you know, you realize at a certain point in your life as a man or a woman that you have a responsibility to yourself to make sure that you do yourself the best justice that you can. I think a lot of that comes from having to work hard and coming from a place like Virginia and knowing how hard it is to achieve. When it comes time to focus, it's like pushing a button. When it's something that I, I realize that I want to do. My mother was the first to graduate from high school in her family and college and you know I credit a lot to her dedication to making sure that she wasn't the mediocre that she was surrounded by so you know I, I didn't want to be that either. One of the highlights of actually becoming 30 this year was the 30 for 30 through my foundation Angels with Heart where we were able to you know help people in various ways every day of the month not just me and my team helping people but you know, engaging my fans and other people to get involved with it. What's up with you? Big dog. All is well? Yeah. And here I am tonight. We having probably the 18th, 30th dinner celebration or however many it is. So we got 12 more to go. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Hit that 30 mark. I, I've been told it's like the glory years, the golden years. Happy birthday. Thank y'all for y'all consistent support. Need, in my career too, if you can follow us, we'll get the Kevin oh, photo with us. Sure. You got my jack? Yeah, we got A lot of reflecting going on, not only as an artist, but just as a man. You know, just realizing how blessed I am to have reached the age of 30, first of all, because a lot of black men don't see that age. Black men, where I'm from, if they do see that age, they behind bars or, you know, in in a bad situation. So uh, it's a blessing. I feel great. You feel good, don't you? You're awesome. You feel good. You look great. I feel like I'm walking into the best part of my life. I know, Trey. That's we, such a good way to feel. It, it, it's awesome. And everything, everything on the trajectory up this whole month was like wow too. Like, it's like things are really just beginning. Right. Life is more so about the impact you have on others' lives than anything else. Our job is not just to raise artists. We have to raise young men and women. Yeah. People that want to contribute to society and be good people. So when, when I tell you he's one of us, he's really one of us. So we raise a glass. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 